City at Villa Park. In the 1964-65 season, Liverpool were the Cup Kings on two fronts, abroad and at home in the FA Cup. Goals by Peter Thompson, seen here, and Willie Stevenson took the Reds to a Wembley final with Leeds. Liverpool had never won the FA Cup. This was the team determined to put that right. And you know there's such fanatical supporters, and if you lose at Wembley, your name's going to be mud to them. I don't think uh, they'll shed it, <laughs> even if we do get beat, but that's not going to be the case anyway. We're going to win at Wembley, they'll have no trouble whatsoever. I still think Liverpool should win it. Had a better team, all-round team, better manager. And, one well, above all, I think they play better football than Leeds could possibly play. Thompson, Yates and Hunt, the three main reasons are Liverpool will take that cup. It was just a, a wonderful occasion, you know. I mean, it was, it was the first time I'd played at Wembley. Looking back, it wasn't a great game, but it was the most fantastic occasion to be part of the first team who's ever ever won the FA Cup for Liverpool. Liverpool attacked. Collins dispossessed Hunter and then barged into Burn. It was a foul, earning Collins a reprimand. He had a broken collarbone. Jerry Byrne, he played 117 minutes, because I say there's no subs, and he went through all them minutes with a broken collarbone. Stevenson. Oh, here comes Byrne. Yes, a goal! Onto the field, they're invading the pitch. There's one fellow got on, and there's a man being arrested, but he doesn't care. EI Adio, we've scored a goal. I still remember it now. It was coming about waist high, and as it was coming, I was thinking, What am I going to do? Am I going to head it, or am I going to kind of side foot it, volley it in? I finally just stooped down and, and nodded it over the line from about six yards. And one of the most fantastic feelings to score a goal in the FA Cup final. I think the Liverpool fans are chanting St John now. Oh, there's Charlton up for the attack. Now Brenda is equalised. <laughs> and come Liverpool again. Not hurrying things because the team that panics now will lose this cup final. It's out to Callaghan. Is he taking it too far? It's a goal! It's a goal! So of course we'd won it in extra time and I bound up the stairs, gets to the Queen and she went, you must be very tired. And everything went out of my head, you know, I said, I'm absolutely knackered. And I couldn't believe what I'd said. And my face was redder than my shirt and, and she just looked at me and she went, I could imagine so. I wonder how many thousands were there? 200, 300, half a million? One could only guess as Ron Yates led his triumphant 11 on their conquering hero's ride through the tumultuous crowds of Liverpool. No success story ever had a finale like this, outbeatling the Beatles, outshining any homecoming by any victorious team ever before.